Recently, I had a client ask me, why would I play with a sex toy? And it was a very judgy question, by the way, but I, I, I'm here to speak to you, a potential judgy audience. So why? Why would you want to play with a sex toy? One of the things, one of the reasons is that for you to explore things sexually, you need to feel safe in both your mind and in your body to be sexual. And so a sex toy is an opportunity for you to explore something, to explore a sexual act in the safety of your own private space. Just you, just a toy, just something that creates sensations. Uh, yes, the vibrator isn't a person. That's true. So it's not like, it's not a replacement for a person. It is a tool that creates sensations. And really it's an opportunity for you to privately explore something. Now again, I, people can use sex toys with their partners, but I'm not talking about that sort of exploration. I'm talking about you getting to know your body. And another reason, so like to add to that, part of why you might play with a sex toy is to see what your body is capable of doing. So if you've only engaged in partner play with um, any sexual act, then you have only been able to go as far as the limits of partner play offer, right? And so whatever they were capable of doing, whatever they were capable of showing, whatever you already knew and brought into that sexual experience is what you were able to do. When you play with a sex toy by yourself, what you are doing is testing your limits. Um, so for those of you who like to explore things like how far can my body go? Like I, I do pure bar, for example. And what I love about pure bar, it's an exercise class is over time, I learned that my body is capable of more and more activity. And like, uh, you know, when I first did it, I remember my belly feeling just horrible. Like, what did I do? <laughs> so this is what I felt after doing this class. But now I've done the class for a bit, six months. And I, I consistently get proud of myself for the things that I found that I'm capable of accomplishing. Like, oh, I can't lift my leg like that. Interesting. I didn't know this. And so when you're playing with a sex toy, that's a little bit of what you're doing is you're you're trying different things, you're exploring sensations, and you don't have to do it all on your vulva or your or your penis if you're one of those owners. It can be on different parts of your body. You can play with nipple stipulation. You can play with how it feels up and down your leg or trying different parts of your spine or different sensory spaces, but you're just testing and playing with your body and exploring, huh, what does it feel like? Oh, I didn't know that felt that way. Interesting. And the piece that I still wanna go back to is it's about creating safety in your own mind and body while you do that exploration. So you're experimenting with this idea of like, oh, what can my body do? But without having to perform for anyone, without having to get anywhere or not get anywhere. If you get to an orgasm, cool. If it just felt interesting, cool. There's no pressure in just, if it's just you. So that's why I want you to explore sex toys. But for anyone else, but to see, what can I do? What can I enjoy with this? Just for me. If you'd like to see me, you can submit a contact form at therapistinstlouis.com. Or um, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe.